everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do a technique called cupping and covering. <clears throat> Excuse me, I haven't done it in a while. I'd like to give a shout out to Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry and Heather Mater of Heather Mater Art. Uh, those two artists were the first ones I watched that did this technique. It's a lot of fun. So let's go over my paints. My base coat today is going to be Liquitex Parchment. I didn't want to go with just the basic white, so I wanted to give it a little bit of color, so thus the parchment. My next color, I'm using a lot of Arteza today. Arteza Phalo Blue. Arteza Phalo Green. Arteza Bordeaux Red. Arteza Lemon Yellow. And my cover color, which you will see later on how that works, is a combination of Arteza Silver and Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. Just silvered up that sky blue light a little bit there. Pouring medium today is a little bit different. It's quite thick, and it is Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry's uh, recipe. It is 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and I went with the Pearl Mod Podge here today. So all my paints will have that pearly luster to them, and then 10% GAC 800. So that is the pouring medium, and you mix um, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I did mix these paints two days ago, so this morning they were quite thick. So let's see which color I'll show you here. Let's go with the yellow. I just gave them a little squirt of water here, but you can see they are on the thick side. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. I'm going to lay my base coat down. I'm going to fill one cup with my paints, and then I'm gonna bring you back and we'll start painting. Be back soon. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of parchment down, Liquitex parchment. I filled my cup. I did two layers of every color. I went blue, green, yellow, red, and then with a, um, a layer of parchment in between. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of puddle down here to help my paint move. And as you can see, this is a this is a thick paint. I'm just going to do a dirty cup where I just turn it over. And I think I will poke a hole in the bottom here to help that paint run down. And I'm just going to um, try and let it out in stages. Okay, and at this point, this is where you put your covering color. And you just just put it on all over like I'm doing. No specific order. You can cover as much as you want or as little as you want. Your under, the underneath colors can peek through there. That's what you want with this technique. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to give it a quick torch. Now I'm going to do some tipping. And again, just cover the canvas. Okay. 
it is running slow because the paint is so thick. Just use my hand here to help the paint along on the edges. Two more edges to cover here. And I think what I'll do is add a little bit more of my base coat to help that paint move. Okay, let's see if that helps it move a little bit. And if not, I can have negative space, that's fine too. going to help the paint along here a little bit. And one more corner here. And again, I will help that paint a little bit. You can always use your finger to help your paint move a little bit. I have just enough paint on here, it looks like. I did forget to mention that I did not use silicone today. Looks like we're finally getting there. Okay, everything's covered. I'm gonna clean my hands off here and we'll give it another torch. I'm going to check my corners and my sides here real quick, make sure that they're covered. I 
for those of you that like to work with thick paints, this is a uh, really good pour for you. Okay, and now comes the, the cupping part of this technique. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cup that I've already used. You can use a clean one or the cup that you use to pour your paints out. And I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to run it across and just make some designs with it. You can pull it through. Just break up some of that paint. Give the, more, the eye more to look at and see the pretty designs that are coming up here. And again, you can make as much design or as little design as you'd like. I think I'm gonna work with this a little bit more. You can use different size cups if you'd like also. If you'd like to try and use a smaller cup and run the edge through, that's fine. Or a bit, even a bigger cup. But I think this is, this is really working well for me here today. Just about finished. I really love this area in here. Okay, I think that's good to start. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt some um, balloon kisses here. And if my paint is too wet, I may have to wait and then come back. But let's, let's give it a try here. I have my balloon with a little bit of water in it. So let's just give it a try here. It looks like it's workable so far. And if the paint does come back in like that, you can always dip it a few times. I am cleaning my balloon off between each dip. Can just see where it gives that really pretty little flower look there. That's very pretty in there. And I'm just going to keep continue there coming down with that balloon. Really pretty colors. And at this point, I may fast forward while I'm doing these balloon dips because it will take me a while. But what I wanted to show you before I fast forward is if you do a flower and you want to give it a little stem, what you can do is just take your finger 
and just give it a stem. Something like that. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And I will point out what I think are some really pretty parts. Going down the left-hand side here. I think these flowers turn out really pretty in here. A lot going on in this painting. And you, could, you did see me do some, not only balloon kisses, but that's a balloon roll there, as is that. Brought up some of those colors from underneath. Again, I like these flowers in here. They look so dainty. This is the middle, just coming down the middle here. Real pretty in here, a lot going on. Again, I do like these, these flowers. Here's another balloon roll. And I did like, I for some reason I did like the flowers that I did more like in a column, but this is a little grouping of flowers I did off camera. I think those turned out really pretty also. And here is the upper right hand corner. Pretty flowers up there. This looks like a very tropical Hawaiian type painting. And the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. And I would ask, please share it with any artist friends you may have. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. I always appreciate that. Thank you to all my subscribers and to all my watchers. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.